Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I have not done a makeup video in in way too long. I mean, okay, so the last couple of weeks have just been, we're just gonna jump right into it. If you're interested in some makeup, I am gonna be using the Lizzie McGuire palette with ColourPop, uh, the collab with ColourPop, so I'm excited to use this. If you're interested in some makeup, I'm just gonna be doing my eyes with you guys eyes with you guys and hanging out with you having one of our chilled relaxed makeup video sessions then continue watching so like I was saying it's been a long <laughs> couple of weeks lately I just feel like I've been like back to back working on like larger projects so I feel like I haven't I haven't had time to even just sit down and do makeup and I was even I'm gonna get started on doing some stuff but I was even gonna try to like take this week off and not film, not upload anything. And then my brain was like, you can't do that. You can't not upload. And it's like a, I don't know, it's like a thing where I, I think I've talked to you guys about this before, but a thing where am I worthy of having you guys and being able to do all this, having this be my job? Um, you know, my full-time job. It's just, I want, I want to make sure that I'm doing enough to make it feel like I deserve it, if that makes any sense. And I, I feel like that's probably not the right way to look at it, but that's just how, like, my brain works. So I was like, okay, you can't not upload anything. Let's try to do something easy. And I am doing, like, a more sit-down kind of video for this week's resin video, but, um, I also am double filming, so I don't even know... I don't know how this happened. Anyway, the palette I'm gonna be using is the ColourPop Lizzie McGuire collab. What, what? Look at this. This is what the outside of the packaging looks like. This is the palette, by the way. There was like a whole collection that came out with Lizzie McGuire and ColourPop, so it's super cute. And then this is the inside. So I have been using this. I love it and I've honestly I've been using I've been using this since I got it which was like a couple weeks ago I've been using it every day and it even has like a mirror I feel like a lot of oh you guys can see yourself um I feel like a lot of ColourPop palettes don't have mirrors so this is just really nice okay so I pulled you guys a lot closer so that you guys can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna start with the shade called Ugh but it is this light pink shade right here so I'm gonna color switch really quick. If you guys have never watched one of my makeup videos, I've kind of turned them into just talking, hanging out, see, like checking in on each other kind of thing. So, how are you guys doing? Leave it in the comments. I, I feel like these are, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I love, I love doing art. It's my life, literally. <laughs> um, but I also love doing these videos where I just kind of sit and ask you guys how you're doing, let you guys know how I'm doing, because the comments are kind of unreal in these videos because I feel like you guys are so open with me and you guys you guys really tell me how you're doing. Um, and then other, like, what gets me is, and I know I say this literally every single freaking video where I'm, like, connecting with you guys. I love that you guys, like, comment to each other. You're supportive with each other. What the heck? Oh my god, you guys can't even see the mirror? That's so great. So let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. What are you up to? I feel like I've been pretty good lately. It's obviously, it's spring now here, uh, which is great. Although the other day, it, we got a ton of snow. Like, I mean, it didn't really accumulate. It didn't accumulate at all, actually. Um, but the fact that it was coming down just is not okay with me, especially uh, in April. But it does happen here, so... That was fun, uh, but that happened on the same day that I got my hair done. You guys, I have not, if if you didn't realize or see, um, my hair is purple now, and it's a lot higher up on my head uh, than it was before because I've been doing my hair, like my own hair, coloring it and everything um, for years, <laughs> for, I don't even know how long, since like high school, I've been doing my own hair. I got a weird haircut once. Partially because my idea was really weird, um, but then it just, it was like, it was so bad. And I wish that she had told me like, that's not a good idea. <laughs> because, I, I mean, I was young and I thought it would look cool and then it totally didn't. 
And then after that, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to let anybody touch my hair ever again, uh, which is totally stupid. So stupid. But yeah, so I just, I haven't let anybody else touch my hair in many, many years. And so when I went last week, it was the first time in years. So I was really nervous. <laughs> I was really nervous um, that I was going to leave with like orange hair because I have black hair. And to lighten my hair is just the lengthiest process. Uh, and I knew I would be sitting there for a long time. I was there for four and a half hours. And I think she did really, really good. Like my hair, my hair looks pretty good, like pretty healthy for uh, not cutting it. Cause I was like, okay, I, I kind of want to hang on to my length for now and see, you know, maybe next time we can cut it. But anyway colored my hair purple and I got it professionally done, which was pretty cool. I do, I kind of want to do blue. Blue has always been uh, my color for my hair. So I kind of want to see if she'll do blue, but she was telling me that like with my natural hair color to get it to be like a vibrant blue, she said that she would basically have to lighten my hair to where it would be like white, uh, which would probably severely damage my hair and then we'd have to cut a lot off, which like I said before, I wasn't willing to give up length right now, but I think maybe in the future, once my hair gets maybe a little bit longer, I'll be able to give up some of the length <laughs> to get it to be blue. So that's why we ended up doing purple, which I do really, really love the purple. Uh, I think it's super pretty and it's like vibrant, like I wanted it to be, and it fades super nicely into my natural hair color. So. I do, I love it, so I will be going back. But yeah, she did such a good job because my original, like where we started, I'll show you guys like here was before, like literally at the appointment. This is what my hair looked like before. And then right after the appointment, this is what it looked like. And I just feel like she did an amazing job. My hair was so gross right before the appointment. And I mean, like I, I you know, I let it get pretty far because I knew I had this appointment. Uh, and that she was gonna be, you know, like coloring my hair. So like, why should I, you know, put more color in my hair if she's gonna do something to it? So I did let it get pretty gross. I think I'm gonna take this dark purple, which is called Digital Bean. <laughs> Looks like this, it's right in the corner here. And I think to honor my new purple hair, I'm gonna take that on the very outer corner just to deepen it up. Yeah, the last couple of weeks have been a lot just because of the videos I was filming uh, the first one was obviously if you guys watched it it was uh, me drying like a full flower bouquet in silica gel and showing you guys like my whole process with that and then the second one uh, was me taking all of those flowers that we dried together and making an enormous <laughs> piece uh, it came out amazing but doing those videos where I show you guys like my full process, like start of a flower bouquet to finish with it, you know, like the final piece, all the flowers in resin. It's, it's so much work. <laughs> it's so much work. Me being here early in the morning till late at night, just like doing layers, but it came out amazing. And I was really like, I've been wanting to update you guys on my process of how I like dry flowers in silica gel and then put them in resin to like make a big piece like that, like a big 3D piece. I've been wanting to update you guys on that for for a while. Um, so I'm glad that I finally did it. Now that I'm done, I'm like, okay, I need a break. <laughs> and then here I am filming two videos. Two videos. I also kind of want, I wanna do more. I obviously, you know, I want to keep up with my resin videos, um, other types of art videos. Like I kind of wish I could do three videos a week where it was like, it could be like one resin, one different art, and then one makeup. Like wouldn't that be, wouldn't that just be <laughs> so fun and awesome? I need a freaking editor because I, I love filming. Like this is my favorite part. Um, editing takes me forever, like an entire day. So if I were doing three videos a week and then an entire day for each video, it doesn't really work. Well, I, it could work, right? I would have like one day off. You know what I was also thinking, I know this is completely random, um, but if you know me in real life, it's not that random. So I kind of want to get a capture card 
and maybe play some video games just just for funsies because I don't know I was thinking about it because Sean and I play or are playing Subnautica right now like the first one uh, because I mean we played it when it first came out or whatever but um, the next one is coming out next month and so I don't know I just playing that game we play it together like we pass the controller back and forth uh, and I freaking love that uh, I think it's so fun because, okay, I am terrified, I'm terrified of deep water, the creatures that lurk in the deep. I just, that game is a horror game for me, uh, honestly. Like, it's, if you've ever played it, let me know if it terrifies you or not. If it doesn't, that is just like, that's such a foreign idea to me. Uh, because, dude, the freaking creatures that they put in that game, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, it's a horror game, for, for real, it's terrifying. The music, of the, it's such a well put together game, I love it so much, so anyway, I'm constantly screaming in that game, you know, I'm just like driving the little, the freaking sea moth around, if you know the game, I'm just like driving it around, and if I see anything, I just, I freak out, and I feel like it would be so funny, you know, the first time that Sean and I played it, uh, we're kind of used to it, a little more used to it now, that we've already played it, but the first time we played it, dude, it was so funny, oh my god, it was so, it was so funny, not knowing where things are, because we kind of remember now what the map is like. I'm sorry if you don't care, if you don't like video games, uh, you can skip over this part, but video games is kind of a big part of my life, um, you know, because blah, 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 I have anxiety um, and depression, and uh, it just, video games kind of like takes me out of the things I might be thinking about, like a really good game. So video games has always been kind of like a place where I go and I can just like not think about anything. So I love, I love video games. So anyway, I thought it would be really, really amazing and funny and fun to do just some, not, not on this channel, to either maybe stream like on Twitch or something or you know to maybe make like an entirely different channel so let me know if you like that idea i i don't know let me know if you're interested in that um i'm not i'm gonna say right now <laughs> i'm not amazing at video games like i'm not terrible but i you know i'm not like super skilled or anything it would more just be for the funsies you know i feel like i've been packing on this pink and purple for like days so i'm going to use this like shimmery peach shade i believe it's called audi so i'm going to be using that on like the center of my lid i think i'm just going to use my finger oh god damn i love i love a good peach <laughs> all right and then i think on my inner corner inner <laughs> i'm going to use bye bye which is this like more champagne -y color. So now I'm taking that purple color digital bean and I'm gonna put it um, on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna blend that out with the lighter pink shade. So I'm gonna be taking the KVD tattoo liner and I'm just gonna line my lash line really quick. Oh, so you guys, I, I if you guys saw it, uh, I started a new series on my channel where I'm gonna be, it's basically called, can you put blank in resin? To see like all the different things, your suggestions really are all I'm gonna be taking uh, and seeing if you can put it into resin, just like kind of see what happens. The first thing I did was candy. I'm gonna pop a picture right here because it is so, so pretty. And for like the longest time till, till I did that video, uh, I always got comments about like putting different foods in resin and I was always such a snob about it, like, put food in resin, why? But then I did it, and it came out amazing, so I was completely wrong. There's a bunch of comments on that video for more suggestions, but I want to take you guys' comments and suggestions and put them in a resin, or like, see what happens, so uh, comment anything you want to see be put into resin. I will try to do it if it gets enough likes or comments or you know, like similar comments. So if you've got a suggestion, if you've been dying to see something be put into resin, comment it in the comments, either on this video or that video. Okay, it's lash time. You know what I'm dying to do? Like I'm dying to do this. I, and it's not a, it's not a big ask, you know? I just want to put on a bathing suit and go swimming. That's it, that's it. 
I just want to go swimming in a freaking lake. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. <laughs> it's just taking so long. I feel like I just need summer. I just need it. I need to go camping. I think we've talked about camping before, right? Let me know if you go camping and let me know which type of camper you are. Are you a tent kind of camper? or are you an RV kind of camper? No shade to either one. I am a tent camper and I just wanna go camping. Oh, that's another thing I, I really want to start doing is, I wanna vlog, I wanna vlog so bad. I, I fell in love with vlogging um, when I went on that road trip from New Hampshire to California and then back. I vlogged the whole thing, basically just for me and Sean to watch and then like my family to watch while we were gone and I, I freaking love it. I love watching vlogs. Like I, I just genuinely love like, I don't know, just seeing other people's lives and learning about other people's like stories and stuff. So I don't know. I like vlogs. Do you like vlogs? I feel like I don't know if I'll be able to do four videos. Add that on. That's such a big YouTube channel. <laughs> like, I need an editor so badly. Where can I find a video editor. You know, I see all these like YouTubers that have really amazing relationships with their editors and it's so cute. Like if any of you watch um, Markiplier and Lixian, oh my god, that's so cute. I, I love them and I want an editor like that, that will understand the weirdness uh, that is me. But I'm also really bad at like I hate the thought. I don't hate it, but it just makes me nervous thinking about like delegating. <laughs> it's just like letting go of some of the things that I do so that I can do more is the way I should look at it. But I'm terrified to like, like editing my videos is such a huge, huge thing. I gotta do it, don't I? And then paying them. How do you do that? Will they be an employee? Do I have to give them health insurance? It's so many, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, things to research, right? Okay. We gonna place this lash on, hopefully. I don't know. Like, I just, I want to do so much more. Uh, and I feel like that would help my, ease um, my mind in you know, my thinking of like, am I deserving of this? Am I doing enough to deserve all the amazing things that I have? Um, I don't know if that thought will ever go away, but it might help if I, if I do more. Plus I just, I feel like I get burnt out a lot faster doing one thing, if that makes any sense. Like I think if I could do more things, I, okay. I reserve the right to, to <laughs> be burnt out uh, doing more things, but, but I do think it might help, um, like in my own creativity, just being able to like do more than just resin videos, you know? So video editor is, is on my list of priorities. I just don't know how to do it. it sounds like they're listening to the chicken dance song out there. I'm pretty sure they're not, but it sounds like it. Like da, 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 da. Okay, lashes are on and to wrap it up, I use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil for my eyeliner, like, you know, on my lower lash line. I honestly would not recommend this because I feel like it transfers really easy and it just kind of, it definitely glide on and it glide everywhere. So uh, I'm just using it because I have it and I spent money on it, but um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this one. And then my mascara is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. And I kind of love this mascara. Um, I don't know, I, I don't have like any kind of favorite mascara, so I'm always using something different. And then the lip gloss, which is a like plumping one, so it's kind of like minty. I love it is part of the Lizzie McGuire X ColourPop collab. So it's one of their lip glosses and it's in Miranda, so it's the bright pink one. I honestly love these. Uh, I'm gonna go on a little tangent, but I love that they like put it in this kind of packaging because this is what lip gloss looked like uh, when Lizzie McGuire was a thing. I love it. I love that they made it minty because I feel like so many lip glosses back then were minty uh, and like plumping like this. Or at least they tasted minty and felt minty. The whole thing and the fact that it smells like the sugariest bubble gum 
I feel like they killed it with the lip glosses, the look, the whole thing. I love these. I've literally been wearing it like every day. With all of that, that is the end of this video. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you comment down below how you're doing, what you would want to see put into resin as like an experiment, and let me know if you'd be interested, if you'd be interested in any of those different types of videos that I was talking about, how I wanted to do like three different types of videos a week, uh, and if you'd be interested in like vlogs or something, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it could be fun. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys. It's an absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>